tell me about the catalyst for change. Like you got P, um, P, PTSD, you were sent back, you blew up, you, you got really angry at some team members and then you went to therapy. What was that catalyst for change? I guess it was you, people saying that you're not okay and you seeing yourself emotionally sort of hurt someone else? Yeah, I mean, and there were times where I would say that I pushed the boundaries of like physical, like abuse on other people too, you know? I mean, I was doing steroids. I was a big guy, I was strong. Um, and, you know, a lot of it was like pent up aggression from like how I was treated. Cause like when I was a fresh new guy, I could treat like crap, you know? And it, it just, I hated it. And it, it wasn't the band of brothers dream that I had envisioned, which is, you know, that's my fault. That's a, that's my own perception problem. But again, I was so young. I didn't understand that. I didn't get it. And then, you know, now I'm in this position of power. Um, I'm doing steroids, so I'm getting stronger and bigger and I have respect now, like I never had before. Um, so yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things influence that, but you know, it, the only thing I, here's what I will say, kind of fast forwarding a little bit. The one thing that really helped me get over that, all of it was I was meditating one day and I kind of tried to envision myself back then and me now and almost trying to like have a conversation with myself and just be kind of trying to like talk to my younger self and understand, you know, of course this is all being done in your mind's eye, but I wanted to understand myself back then. And then I'll not only understand myself, but then tell myself back then that it's okay. You know, like I be, I used to beat myself up all the time for how mean I was to people and how ruthless I became. Um, cause that's not who I, pride myself in being it's not really nobody wants to be that way 